this little fella, or should I say a pretty big fella, has confused a lot of people in the comments of this video. It looks like, well, it's got a trapdoor. So it's probably a trapdoor spider. And lots of people thought the exact same thing, but it's not in fact a true trapdoor spider. These are gonna be your true trapdoor spiders. They belong to family Tenesidae and they're megalomar spiders, meaning they're more related to tarantulas than the spider that we just saw in that video. This is a good example of a trapdoor spider. As you can see, it's pretty much resembling a tarantula in almost every aspect, besides not being so hairy. They've got the forward-facing fangs and uh, very small eyes, which are a characteristic trait because they do have pretty poor vision compared to other spiders. But in essence, these guys are more related to our prehistoric spiders than they are to the true spider in the video. Now we go back to looking at this spider and you see a lot of big differences, like the downward-facing chillers are indicating that the fangs go like this. Um, but let's just get to the base point. This is a wool spider, family Lycoshidae. Specifically, this looks like Hagakos and Natasha. The Natasha's wool spider or the white tiger wool spider would be the largest wool spider in Australia, but it's also pretty hard to come across. They live in these sandy areas and they also make trapdoors. So another good identifying factor here is these black bands. They're on the femurs, indicating that it's probably Hagakosa. So there we go. We've ID'd the spider and it's also not blue contrary to what the video footage portrayed because of the white point in the camera equipment made the whites look blue. Uh, that's not normal, but uh, these spiders are whitish gray. If you have any other questions, comments, uh, let me know down below. If you liked the video, you know, leave a like, share, and thanks for watching.